Hey there, peace folks and dudes. It's been quite a bit since I got back to you last. But I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys real quick. I'm sure a lot of you have already done this, but for those who haven't, in case you're curious, this is where you can find your stage four for the prisoner here, which it's pretty cool in my opinion. You stand in the circle, all the fire shows up. I thought you had to emote, but apparently you don't. And you even make it earthquake. Like, I thought that was pretty neat added thing in there. But there's a lot to discuss, you know, that we've seen coming. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how the cracks are showing up. Not all of them, but just to give you guys a quick look for any of those of you peeps, hooks, and dudes that do follow me or watch my stuff. I've got the fire background going on around me. Since we're going to be probably seeing some heat here in the next coming days or weeks or so. Depending upon how soon they decide to release that Season 8. I just could not get this person. I don't know what is up with that. Simply terrible. I want to see how long I could last. <laughs> and they had the air horn with french fries apparently. But yeah, there's just a lot to talk about, a lot to discuss. We're going to jump in here real quick. Let me go ahead and show you real quick what this looks like with that fire just and smoke just embelling off of him I, I really love this stage I feel like there's another one because of the uh, neck and the waist is still got the shackles now I could be wrong maybe that's supposed to stay like that but as my buddy Trove pointed out on his back there you can see it's not quite as bright as his head his chest and part of his arm on his right arm there his left arm's even kind of more dimly lit, so maybe we'll be seeing another unlock sometime. But, as you can see, it's a little more dim, so we'll see. But also, peeps, folks, and dudes, if you haven't gotten it, I went ahead and got the Fallen Love Ranger. I've loved the Love Ranger, the original, for ever in a day, ever since I saw it. Same thing, kind of how I did the Raven. That's why I got the Frozen Ice Pack, and... I got the Fallen one, which I didn't notice the glistening to the wings. I thought the wings were just like a straight matte black. But as you can see, there's kind of some purple in there too, which I really like. But purple is my favorite color. I love purples and pinks. So for me to have a skin that is like black and purple like that is just amazing to me, personally. And I just, I, I don't know... I don't know what else they're going to come out with. They still keep surprising me every single time I turn around. And there are the challenges. Believe it or not, they are just daily challenges, but can give you up to 20 or excuse me, excuse me, $20 worth, U.S. anyway, uh, 2,000 V-Bucks. So, you know, instead of just buying a skin or instead of just buying, you know, $20 worth of V-Bucks, you could in thus get that plus v bucks so either way you're kind of getting one for free if you think about it you're getting two for the price of one there is that cuddle team wrap i absolutely love it the black and pink with the broken hearts and now we're going to cut real quick and this is the footage here of a little bit me trying to figure out the hoverboards i don't play save the world don't have it um this is all new for me I find it fascinating, find it interesting, but we are going to go ahead, now see all these cracks on these big mountains, this is in playground mode by the way, if you didn't know or couldn't tell, but there are cracks on all these big mountains over this way towards paradise, which makes me wonder if those are going to crumble or if they're going to, you know, be different, I really threaded the needle there, didn't I? But, as you can see on this one right here, Northwest, it's the cracks are huge, and I definitely don't remember those being like that. They were just kind of solid, you know, kind of dome, column-shaped mountains, which can be found in most deserts. But, even here, like, look how big some of those cracks are on any of those mountains. Even the small one right here has a crack starting right there as I ran over it. So, I don't know what to expect at all. I still think if you look at the um, big mountain that's actually, I think it's like north northwest, I, I, I believe it's the one off in the distance, okay? The one that's like not even at all there uh, for us to land on, it's just back the giant background mountain. I said I believe it was season 6 when they 
hinted that there was going to be a volcano rise up out of Loot Lake a long time ago, and it was a bunch of clickbait. Who knows? At this point, maybe it's not clickbait. But that gigantic mountain off of the friggin' map, which you can kind of see a little bit of it in the background there, I personally think could still go Pompeii, could still be a giant volcano, who knows, but here's some more fissures over here just outside of the block, in between the block and Lazy. This bridge has finally fallen in because of it, and you can see all the other uh, cracks. Now this one goes actually underneath that little mountain there, and out the other side near Lazy. I didn't know that initially. And also over here there was a change. There's a little bit more shore right here, and then there's this. I wonder if there's eventually going to be a bridge of some sort here to maybe replace some of the damaged ones. I don't know. We will see. But peace, folks and dudes, get those overtime challenges done. If you got Fallen Love Ranger, make sure you're getting your dailies done. Dropping this block over here has been insanely crazy. So have fun. Get to it. I'll see you later. See you in the next one. Take care getting everything done. Bye-bye.